Because when Allah talked about remembering him, He says, إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ لَذِكْرَ لِمَنْ كَانَ لَهُ قَلْبٍ in it, there's a powerful reminder. In the Qur'an, there's a powerful reminder for anyone who has a heart. So first of all, he said, remember Allah the way you couldn't have known. And then he says, remembrance is actually something that is done by people who have hearts. So we're trying to benefit our hearts as we engage in this, in this exploration. But Allah says, subhanahu wa ta'ala, tabarak asmu rabbik. Tabarak asmu rabbik. When you call on Allah's name and attach Allah's name to any act, then that act becomes full of something called barakah. And barakah in Arabic isn't just blessing. Barakah actually means something that becomes stable. Something that stays in its place. Like birka was used for when a camel sits in the, in the sand and won't move. And it sort of sinks into the sand. That's barakah al-ba'ir. That's actually from the, where the word comes from. And it also means increase. Meaning, the same orange juice, but because Allah's name is attached to it, you will get more nutrition from it, more benefit from it, your mind will open up, things will come out of this drink, benefits will come from this drink in the seen world and in the unseen world. Benefits for your body, benefits for your heart, that you could not have experienced if you didn't say Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. That attachment changes everything. So now we're learning that our tasks are actually in a sense incomplete without Bismillah. That's just a little bit about the ba. And by the way, ba is also called by the Kufi scholars, they call it ba al ala, which means the ba of a means, like a tool. Meaning, you know how you say, I use the key to open the door? Right? I use the key, I use the hammer to put the nail in the wall. I'm using bismillah to get this done. That's actually what that means. That I, I need this phrase, and without it, whatever I need to get done will not get done. I do not believe it will yield the intended results. If the, if the basmala isn't there, if this phrase Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim isn't there. Bismillah. We just call on the word Allah. Why? Because the word Allah, unique to all the other names of Allah, the word Allah includes every description of Allah in one word. It includes Allah's love. It includes Allah's power. It includes Allah's wisdom. It includes Allah's planning. It includes Allah's healing. It's in, it includes Allah's anger. It includes Allah's knowledge. All of the names of Allah that you can think of, and you and I, our minds are not that sharp, we can't think of all of Allah's names, even the ones we know don't come to mind. Even they don't come to mind. And yet Allah has given us a mercy, that when we start something, we don't know which name of Allah we're going to need. I don't know if I need Allah to be my healer, because I may have a sickness, I don't even know I have it. I may have a problem coming ahead of me, I don't even know it's coming ahead. I don't even know if this task is going to lead me into trouble and Allah, I will need Allah to be my protector. Maybe Allah, I need Allah to be my wali. Maybe Allah, I need Allah to be Al-Hakim. Maybe I need Allah's knowledge for now, I need Allah to be Al-Alim. I don't know which name of Allah I need. And so Allah knows better than we do when we call on Allah by His name.